Blue Corner representing the Astana Islands. He was a silver medalist at the 2010 National Championships and a silver medalist in the same year at the Student World Championships from Kazakhstan. Please put your hands together for Khabibullah Ishmael Akuno. <laughs> from the evening from the red corner, a two-time national champion, a silver medalist at the 2004 Commonwealth Championships representing the Venkis Mumbai Fighters. Give it up for Balbir, the untouchable Singh. <laughs> And that is the referee for the evening, Ishanguli Merit Niazov of Turkmenistan, who will be in uh, the ring. The judges are from England, Raymond Morley, Michael William Gallagher of Ireland, and Reni just of Slovakia. So those are the men in the judgment tables. And now we are all set to get the bantamweight uh, underway. Balbir Singh, the Venkis Mumbai fighters man. There he is. This is uh, Kabibullah Ismail Akhunov, 20 years of age. Lost it to Warren Rossi. So he's ranked 16th. He's lost his only bout so far. Well, as Balbir Singh, he's also lost his only bout here at 25 years of age and will be looking to get over that disappointment in Pune against Milan. So, Balbir, it is in the red corner, getting his gloves all set. And uh, it is uh, Ismail Akhunov. Uh, Habibullah Ismail Akhunov, and there's the bout for you, bantamweight, 54 kilograms. <laughs> Referee Shanguli Merit Nezov of Turkmenistan in charge of proceedings in the ring. So Balbir Singh getting his gloves ready. Remember, it's uh, five rounds of three minutes each on the die basis, and it's five bouts that will decide the winner of this contest between Venkis Mumbai fighters and Astana Erlans. So far, Mumbai fighters have lost 2-3 to Milan in the opening week. Then they were beating 5-0 by Mos Dynamo Moscow. Had a walkover from Bangkok Elephants, but then beat Los Angeles Matadors 5 Nil at this very ring. And round number one begins. So it's Balbir Singh in the black shots and Ismail Akhunov in the yellow shots. Ismail Akhunov of Kazakhstan, 25 years of age, 20 years of age, beg your pardon, 170 centimeters and uh, certainly looking a uh, uh, strong fighter here while it is Balbir Singh, 25 years of age, and he's shorter than his opponent. But the left-hander no, in Balbir would have a bit of an advantage. Stop. Round number one in progress. First of five three-minute rounds. And Balbir Singh, who had a tough battle against Milan when he was uh, fighting against the Milan team that he was facing Ukrainian Volkov which 
was Vitali Volkov and lost uh, on points. But Balbir has it in him. Not for nothing that he's called the untouchable. If he can get his left going, then certainly he can make his opponent pay the penalty. At the moment, it is Balbir trying to gain some ascendancy. And this time tries to connect with the left, but uh, not really successful. And uh, Ismail Akunov doesn't have too much uh, previous experience this time a straight left again just off target and uh, both boxers still for a way to get that opening <coughs> referee Merzen of Turkmenistan to break and this time going for a good right there Balbir would have certainly impressed the judges with his aggressive intent Going into the final minute of round number one. Again, a clinch. Don't see too much of that in the lighter weights. But uh, phantom weight is certainly a category where you see more speed than power. And at the moment, boxers looking for openings. Not really able to land too many. But Balbir would have certainly been feeling at this time again. A good straight left from Balbir to the head of uh, Ismail Akunov. Rocked him a bit. So the aggressive intent from Balbir certainly would have served him well. We'll have to see how he scored on the judges' cards. Remember, it's a 10 point system. So the winner gets 10 points in every round from each of the judges. And trying to finish in the final 10 seconds, Balbir again going for a charge, trying to use the right. Too close to have any impact. And there's the bell signaling round number one ending and we'll have to see how this one has uh, panned out but it's a very very evenly contested uh, round between the two as you see Balbir being uh, attended to by the chief coach Shiv Kumar Pal. let's have a look at how things panned out initial aggression from Ismail Akunov but then uh, Balbir managed to land at least Two straight left. Akunov tried to come back, but uh, not successful. And Balbir would be feeling that he's done enough to get the nod. Yes, Balbir. So well, he's got the nod from one judge, and two have scored it for blue. So it's uh, two for blue and one for red. Round two begins, and Balbir would want to make an early impression He's got one hey. judge favor hey. time again hey. smile open off going for a grip Balbir has got him lined hey. up this time both while holding each other no damage done more of a neck lock than uh, punches landed so wouldn't have impressed the judges but Balbir's active and in aggressive intent this time he's been rocked by a straight left walked into it Balbir Ismail Akunov has realized that he's uh, not able to come in close because Balbir has got a very quick left and right combination and this time scores with the right to the head Ismail Akunov now backpedaling because Balbir has rocked him with two Rice to the head. Balbir now showing his aggressive intent once again. Two men going into the clinch. The phantom weight where clinches are not too many. For a big roundhouse there, Balbir Singh would have uh, tried to connect, but not. Uh, making much of an impression just yet and this round is also tough to score very close round so far one to the body wouldn't have uh, really done too much damage but Balbir has got to make sure he lands his punches right trying to concentrate more on the body rather than go for the head Ismail Akhunov not giving him the opening glancing blow to the head wouldn't have counted 
And this time again a right to the head by Lasmai Lakhunov. Gesturing that that one did not have any effect. That's almost a challenge thrown to the rival that the last one did not have an, any effect. And uh, you can try a couple more of those. Left, uh, left handed Balbir trying to get that left hook in, but not successful at all because Akhanov, Ismail Akhanov, judging it very well. Balbir Singh almost telegraphing his moves as he comes in with to attack left and uh, Habibullah Ismail Akhanov showing better footwork and uh, understanding of his opponent's game. A clinch as we go into the final 10 seconds of round number two. Once again, a desperate attempt by both boxers, both on the mat, won't have counted, will not count. That's the bell signaling end of round number two. Again, very evenly scored bout, giving the Indian a bit of an edge, I would feel. Balbir could have uh, hoped that he has uh, managed to impress the other two judges as well. Didn't get the nod in the first round. There you see, the, that was the first time the two went down. And a neck hold, and then Balbir rocked there with the left, but then again came back with a strong hit with the right. Akhunov trying to come in, but Balbir close. Again, probably Ismail Akhunov may have done just enough to get the nod from the judges as we await the score. There you see, all three have scored it for blue. So, Blue has taken this round, and round number three now begins. Balbir, the black shots, while Habibullah, Ismail Akhanov, and this is the round where Balbir has to come in very strongly. That was a blow into the stomach, giving a standing eight count. To Habibullah, Ismail Akhunov, and probably a point docked. Yes, Balbir docked one point for a low blow below the belt. And Ismail Akhunov coming in low. Wait and see how that will affect. Balbir, because he's got to come back in this round, otherwise he will start falling behind. Already down on two judges' cards. This time going for a big one. Fortunately, did not connect Balbir as he would have liked to. He has been throwing enough punches, but not connecting with enough of them. That's been his problem. And uh, Ismail Akhunov has been able to keep him at bay with his superior technique and Balbir rushing with the punches and not making much of an impression. Ah. Again, ah. Balbir Singh clock stopped and uh, referee is just uh, the boxer to clean their gloves and carry on. Balbir once again trying to get close, ah. too close to have any damaging effect. Again, more of a push and a shove rather than a punch. Back. And uh, open glove from Balbir. Immediately caught the referee's attention. Again, going for a massive roundhouse there, Balbir, but catching only air. That's been his problem. He's been throwing many punches, but very few have connected this time. Again, right. Just the neck. Back. So. Not having uh, enough of an effect, Balbir here it would uh, certainly be in a spot of bother now because round number three kicking away, but 45 seconds remaining in round number three. Remember, it's five rounds of three minutes each, and Balbir already showing a bit of tiredness. The speed of the punches right. has gone down. To come back and come back strong again. Hoping for a push, but uh, both 
fighters getting their head low and Balbir trying to take advantage of that uh, low attempt by Habibullah Ismail Afanov into the final 10 seconds of round number three once again it's a uh, uh, clock being stopped by the referee third time uh, the referee has stopped the clock and that's the end of round number three referee Ishangwili Meritseno of Turkmenistan not having an easy time there but round number three also looks like going the way of blue and that would certainly give blue a handy lead going into the final two rounds because uh, don't forget that Balbir was doctor point for a low blow in this round there you see that low blow immediately the count and then Balbir was the cornered and uh, twice he was thrown to the canvas physically by Ismail Akhunov, but unfortunately for Balbir, he hasn't done enough just yet. Great, uh, the score, and there you see one morning point, and that's given the round to blue. So it is Ismail Akhunov who holds a good handy lead as we begin round number four. We are live at the T-Box Mobile Arena at the Inorbit Mall in Mumbai and Ismail Akhunov from Kazakhstan on the attack right from the beginning. He knows his opponent is tiring a bit. Again, uh, time both players slipping. Albir with the footing that he's able to get and uh, Habibullah Ismail Akhunov taking advantage of his tiring opponent this time threw a big right but Balbir saw it coming and took evasive action just in time to avoid the glove I'm going for an uppercut but didn't connect and stand back of the head Balbir once again slips and goes down timeout called by referee one more time And the big right down house almost thrown by Albir. And now Ismail Akhunov feeling that he has got a tiring opponent in front of him, which he can take advantage. Three rounds already on two judges' cards. So that uh, bout certainly looks all soon up. And uh, Balbir will now have to go something really, really big. <coughs> got to be a knockout as uh, Ismail Akhunov uh, does something wrong and uh, is docked a point or two. Otherwise, uh, it could be tough going for Balbir from here on because Kamgar uh, has uh, fallen off. So there will be a bit of a break. And, uh, now Balbir has also taken out his Kamgar, so he needs uh, to... Catch his breath. Good professional trick from uh, Balbir. Time to catch his breath. And both boxers getting a caution from uh, the referee for spitting out the gum guard. The referees are too experienced to fall for such tricks. They know this could be a trick to just... Uh, catch their breath. Final minute of round number four and Balbir have uh, a wee bit as uh, we go towards the final minute of round number four and it is Habibullah Ismail Akhunov who's uh, got the upper hand in the bout so far. Has been the aggressor. Too bright, missing touch in the air. Balbir not able to score with his it's once again a 
And it's uh, quite a Final seconds of round number four. And uh, there's the bell. Round number four completed. And it looks like Mumbai fighters would be on the back foot as Balbir hasn't uh, really done enough to get the nod from any of the judges. Only on round one did he manage to do something positive. There you see the action from Round number four, Habibullah Ismail Akhunov managed to connect, connect well with the left there. Balbir punching air. And this time the big right has uh, got him in trouble. And there's the opportunity for Habibullah Ismail Akhunov once again manages to connect, connects well. And uh, round number four completed. So it's uh, round number four, all done. And we go into the fifth and final round. And there you see all three judges scoring for blue. And now only a knockout will save Balbir here. This is the fifth and final round. Balbir needs something more than what he has been doing so far in this final round to pull this out. Otherwise, it looks like uh, it is gone out of his hands. Certainly hasn't done enough. And uh, let's see what uh, Balbir can throw up in the final round. Because uh, he's been throwing enough punches, but unfortunately for him, he's not been able to connect enough. And that's been the problem for Balbir. Habibullah Ismail Akhonov knows that he's uh, been both boxers sent to the white corner and uh, referee wants the ringside doctor to have a look at uh, a cut below the eye for Balbir and have to see whether uh, well it is on the right uh, eyebrow but uh, there is a bit of blood on his face still two minutes 15 to go and the ringside doctor says he's uh, good enough to continue but uh, Habibullah Ismail Akhunov seems to have done enough damage to take that bout his way. Balbir not getting enough action. Once again, the back of the head wouldn't count with the judges. Punching not good enough from Balbir Singh. And it's been a very, very tactical down from uh, Habibullah Ismail Akhunov. He knew that he was ahead on all the judges' cards, and that is what his uh, strategy has been to try. And once again, he pulls Balbir down time and again. That's been happening, and uh, quite uh, surprisingly, the referee has not taken note of that. Balbir has been pulled to the canvas quite a few times and each time the referee has stopped the clock. Final minute of the last and final round approaching in this bantamweight contest and at the moment Habibullah Ismail Akhunov of the Astana Arlans holding the upper hand. This is a big left and uh, again the combination to the head of Balbir. Balbir not able to get out of that uh, problem that he has. Had his gloves up but uh, still it was uh, Ismail Akhunov who managed to land a few as we enter the final half a minute. Round number five. Less than 30 seconds on the clock. Ismail Akhunov the aggressor and Balbir is in defense. And that will certainly, they will be in uh, the lead with Habibullah Ismail Akhunov uh, giving them the advantage. Timeout called once again by the referee. The countdown begins the end of the bout. And uh, this is certainly 
gone the way of the Kazakh boxer and it will be a unanimous verdict from the looks of it because uh, only one round was scored on the card of Judge Tree. The final round action, it was uh, Habibullah Ismail Akhunov doing more than enough even in the final round to get the verdict and uh, make sure that uh, he has the bout on a unanimous verdict. That has been the story so far as uh, the Kazakh boxer showed much better appreciation of the tactics as we wait for the formal announcement of the results. But there doesn't seem to be much doubt here as to who the winner is. And uh, Astana Arlans would be starting with a win and a lead in this five bout contest with Winky's Mumbai fighters. With the boxers uh, getting ready come into the ring as we await the announcement of the results. It is a unanimous decision by the judges. Judges score Judge 1, 49-50, Judge 2, 49-50, and Judge 3, 49-50 as well. In the blue corner, it is the victor tonight from the Astana Ireland's Kabibula, Ishmael Akuno. There you have the winner, Ismail Akonov of Kazakhstan winner unanimously on points and that's been a very polished performance from Khabibullah Ismail Akonov and Astana Arlans are now 1-0 ahead in this fight.